Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for today's video. My name is Lina. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So today's video's timing is so very off because Carolong already has spring collections available and today I'm gonna talk about last year's holiday collection and I think that maybe I purchased too many holiday collections last year or maybe I'm not diligent enough making the videos but I meant to do this video but I didn't get to but I really like this collection so I just could not go not doing this video so I will show you how I created this look using this beautiful holiday makeup collection and since this collection is available as some retailers I will link it down below and also include the swatches just in case you are interested so that's the video for today I hope you enjoy start with the primer. This is Guerlain Nord Primer and this particular primer is designed to be used together with this Pario Gold foundation. I have the old version of it. There are new versions available. There is a matte uh, version of this foundation and also glow and they have more shades available. I'm still working on my old, uh, you know, bottle i'm not allowed to buy any more new foundation unless i use up something but anyway uh this particular um primer is very lightweight and very very hydrating the texture is almost like water drop it just melts away and uh it just works really beautifully with the foundation so let me just apply this Now the foundation, I have the shade 00, zero. so let me get one pump. Now I'm going to refine the foundation finish a little bit more using a clean uh, cushion foundation applicator like this. So this is a, a new trick that I found and uh, this will make the finish much better and also the foundation will last a little bit better as well. Setting this foundation using the Givenchy Prisma Libero Loose Powder. Contouring a little bit, I have the mini terracotta number no. 3 brunette shade. This is a matte bronzer with a warm undertone. I usually use this to contour. Guerlain bronzers are quite warm, but I don't really mind it. They always just work. Now eyebrows.
Now we're going to do eye makeup using this beautiful eyeshadow quad. It's number 770 Golden Stars. And this is a limited edition color and I find this quad slightly more pigmented. But there is no special packaging and I don't really see drastic difference uh, in formulation anyway. So I don't know why this one is $5 more compared to uh, the six eyeshadow quads from the core collection. I mean, for example, I recently purchased the Red Orchid collection that has a beautiful velvety special, uh, you know, uh, red casing. So if that one costs a little bit more, I would understand, but I really don't think there was any reason for this to be a little bit more expensive than the other eyeshadow quads but it's quite beautiful the color story wise it's not exactly the easiest one that i can pull off so what i figured out is that if i add a uh, black base uh, on my eyelids and start blending out uh, using this eyeshadow colors that will make it much more wearable and a uh, little bit more flattering on my complexion so that's what i'm gonna try today so what I'm gonna use today is my old-time trusty chubby coal eyeliner. This is L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. I've had this uh, forever, like this is my third or fourth one. I think they stopped making these. I can still find them online, but if you can recommend really nice chubby coal eyeliner, I'm all yours. Please uh, let me know in the comment section. So uh, the reason I like this a lot is that it's not as wet, so it's easier to control, but still it's smudgeable and gives me enough control and works as a great base. So I used to wear this like almost daily to base my eyelids like this. Then I would just like blend with taupe eyeshadow, add some black eyeliner, mascara, and be done with it. So let's see if this works. Using a small powder brush, I like to start with this deep purple berry shade and I'm going to blend it out. The black coal liner gives me really interesting undertone, so I think blended together, this is really pretty. I was going to use Carolan eyeliners today, but this deep purple berry um, eyeshadow tone kind of makes me want to use Wayne Goss eyeliner in the shade Deep Amethyst. So I'm going to use this color on my lower lash lines and blend out even more. Using a detail brush, I'm going to use the same shade and set the eyeliner on my lower lash lines. Now we're going to blend out the harsh edges, but while doing that, let's add some colors here. So I am going to use this lighter peachy pink shade and mainly apply that on the inner corners, blending out. It's really shimmery and special, beautiful shade. On the outer half, let me try this orangey coppery shimmer shade. Quite beautiful. It's kind of unexpected, but works really nicely. Using a soft crease brush, I'm going to use the same shade and blend out even more.
And using the same brush, I'm gonna add a little bit of gold shade on the inner corners. And add the same gold shade over here a little bit. Finally, I'm gonna use a pencil brush and revisit this very color, maroon color, and deepen the outer corner. And now I'm gonna add black liner and black mascara, and I'll be right back. On my upper lash lines, I used Wayne Goss Coal Liner Obsidian Shade. I love his eyeliners. I have four of them. They work so well, uh, really reasonably priced. And mascara, I used Dior Show uh, Iconic Over Curl Mascara Waterproof Version. I had such high hopes for this mascara, but it's a disaster. It's so clumpy. Uh, I only used this a uh, couple of times. This is my third time trying it. And my understanding is that waterproof mascara thickens over time. And if it's this clumpy at this stage, I don't know what will happen uh, to this mascara after 10 uses, whatever. Um, it's very volumizing and the lashes that I get, uh, it's quite dramatic, but I think it's so clumpy, I think I will toss this away. It's a shame. The packaging is really, really pretty. Anyway, let's add some finishing powder. Uh, Guerlain Literary's Compact, my favorite. On my cheek, uh, instead of using a blush color, I like to use this uh, shimmery bronze shade that is included in this collection. It's Terracotta Starlight and it's number three medium warm and very beautiful and i think it works really nicely with this eye look because the berry undertone kind of makes me look uh possibly sickly but adding a little bit of warmth on my cheeks it just works and uh, i surprisingly really love this bronzer Now I'm going to show you three different lip colors with this look because I purchased a limited edition gel gloss, also two lipstick shades. So I'm going to start with the uh, gloss uh, paired with a pink eyeliner and you can probably see how a lip color can make or break a look. So let me know in the comment section below which color you like the best with this whole look. So starting with this uh, almost clear but very shimmery lip gloss. But I'm gonna line my lips first using my Lancome lip liner. Uh, this is very pink, almost magenta kind of color. And I like that this one comes with nice brush, so I can use this brush to apply the lip gloss. Next up is Dreamy Garnet. So this is a very gorgeous, vampy, plummy kind of shade. It's in the Rouge G Satin formulation. I so wanted to uh, love this color because I see this as an amplified version of Wednesday's lip color. But if I wear this in full strength, it looks quite off. It makes me look a little bit sick. Uh, it doesn't work as well, so I have to uh, blot it off and then sheer out the uh, lip liners and then it will look a little bit wearable but still not the best color. So let me show you what I'm talking about. The color itself is amazing and formulation is really beautiful. but it does not look great on me. So let me work it out a little bit. And 
And using a pencil brush, I like to feather out the lip line a little bit. Now this looks much more wearable, but I still can't say this is the best color on me. So let me remove this and show you my favorite color of this collection. My favorite lip color from this collection is number 770 Berry Alchemy shade. It's a stunning uh, saturated berry color in the velvet finish. And I pair this lipstick with the limited edition lipstick case, golden star case like this. So let me show you the lip color. Let me feather the lip lines a little bit. So this is my take and my final look with Guerlain's 2022 Holiday Makeup Collection Fly to the Stars. I think it's really gorgeous, special collection and I'm just glad that at least I got to feature this beautiful collection in my channel and better late than never they say and I was hoping that maybe if you have purchased this uh, collection and maybe if you're looking for a makeup idea or some reference look in that sense I hope uh, you would find this video helpful so thank you very much for watching this video and spending your time with me I appreciate it give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you can I hope to see you guys in my next video bye